the story is a very powerful and political one. So my intention was not to radicalise the piece, but to explore the piece from the inside and really find out what it's about. So the first few sentences of this libretto are, Egypt is going to suppress Ethiopia, they've, they've risen up in rebellion, we must crush them, they're burning our villages, and we're going to consult the oracle about who will lead the Egyptian armies to triumph. That theme goes on through the entire piece. As you know, Aida is an Ethiopian slave. The person who's chosen to lead the army is Radamitz, and of course he's in love with Aida. But that love is forbidden because it crosses across nations and across status. Um, he can't possibly be in love with a slave and a slave girl must know her place and stay in the kitchen. At the centre of the piece there's a love affair. It must be, that is the centre of the piece. Between Radames, Aida, the forbidden love, and the princess, Amneris. She's all powerful, she's a pampered pet, she's a controller. She's controlled every aspect of her life, but what she can't control and she can't buy his love. She can't control Radhami's feelings for Aida. I believe the piece is about the triumph of love in a world which does not allow it. A world that forbids it. A world based on war, not on peace. It's a very special type of production because we have a wonderfully powerful opera in a fantastic production as well. But for me, the orchestra and the singers and the audience know it's, it's unique in the world. To have that fabulous music, the genius of Verdi, this amazing story, that backdrop of Sydney, the water, the moonlight, it's a very special gift to be asked to direct it, so I feel quite privileged. There are always challenges performing any opera in any venue. Here on the harbour, during the performances, the singers, chorus, the artists are on stage. The orchestra and I are underneath them. Basically, we don't see each other, except through a single camera lens beamed onto a monitor and then I see them at the very end for the curtain call and say so had a lovely time.